The blocker can block the ball at the opponent's space only after the attack hit of the opponent with the following conditions. This ball, after the first or second contact by the opposing team, is directed towards the blocker's court and no player of the opponent team is close enough to the net in that part of the playing space to play the ball with a second or third contact. After the third touch by the opponent, each ball may be blocked within the opponent's space. Sets and allowable passes, which do not cross the net towards the opponent's court, may not be blocked beyond the net except for after the third contact. In the video, we can see that the blocker touches the ball in the opponent's space simultaneously with the setter's touch. This is a fault. We cannot decide whether the setter committed a fault, since it could not turn out what direction the ball was passing from the hand of the setter, towards opponents or his fellow players. In case of an attack hit, the setter would have made a mistake, while if it had been a set, the blocker would have made a mistake. On the basis of these, only the blocker committed a fault and the referee's decision was wrong. The other team should have won the rally. It is the first referee's responsibility to indicate the fault of the improper block overreaching the opponent's space. In a critical situation of the match, such as at the point of set with close result, the referees must pay particular attention to the situations of play above the net.